Uh, two weeks after the storm, we went back to New Orleans and we got in. They were letting you in for just a few hours. Well, by dark, you had to get out. Basically, it took like two to three weeks for the water to, you know, for them to get the water out. There were silt, mud from the Mississippi River. Everybody had to have big galoshes on to go in. You had to have masks covered. And I, I can close my eyes and just feel the smell. It's it just, I mean, it was like a combination of sewage with chemical with, and then silence, silence. The most surreal, it was like a, like a zombie movie is the only way I could describe it. Total apocalypse. There was no sound. I mean, zero sound. No flies, no bugs, no birds, no wind, nothing. And it was black and it smelled really, really bad. You could see the line of, you know, the water even in the trees. So it was like brown up to here, then the little green. Seven feet of water in the house. You only have eight feet ceilings. So that means we lost everything. The church had four feet of water, so it wasn't as bad as our homes. So everything was just in a disarray. I mean, it was just horrible, the first impression. We knew then that we wouldn't be able to go back because all the infrastructure was damaged and all, and it took three or four years to really get it back. Then when we opened our house, it was like, like as if somebody would have have set out a, a bomb and, you know, explosion. The, all the furniture upside down. I mean, it's, it's like you feel violated. It's, 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 yeah, I cannot best describe it, but violated, basically. I actually went back and I slept in the house. And it was just kind of crazy. I, ain't gonna say, I took a nap there. I was scared. Um, it was just crazy to see the city. You couldn't even recognize some of the things. Um, I don't like it. It was just, it, it was unreal. I mean, just the carnage and it was just, it was nuts. 